Hello and welcome back to the course on Forex Trading. In today's tutorial, we will discuss how to trade fundamental news. Now, we're going to look at an example of uh, what we saw for the non-farm and unemployment news that came out uh, on the first Friday of December 2014. So I've got uh, a snapshot of the chart that we were looking at in the previous tutorial right in front of me here. And as you can see, we uh, saw a huge drop in the euros dollar uh, currency pair uh, once the news was released at 8.30 uh, a.m. New York time. And um, so this massive spike, how, how would we go about trading it uh, if we're uh, waiting for it and we're watching the news? Well, in uh, generally speaking, or conceptually speaking, uh, the um, method is quite simple. So what you would do, first of all, is uh, you would obviously look at the news, you would uh, figure out when your uh, important piece of news is coming out or a piece of news that you think will be important. And then if you have some sort of predictions uh, on whether it's going to be beneficial or, or um, detrimental for the currency, then you would open a buy or sell order um, just before the news comes out, so somewhere over here. But uh, in most cases, you cannot predict what the news will be. A lot of the time, um, we don't know uh, if the news is going to be uh, beneficial or detrimental for the currency pair. And therefore, there is a, actually, actually, there's a strategy that allows you to um, make a profit in either case. So what this strategy implies is you wait for uh, just before when the news comes out, so maybe one or two minutes before. And uh, normally, if it is important news, then the markets will consolidate and there won't be any um, sporadic movements in the market. So everybody will be like quieting in down and waiting for uh, the big rush that's going to come just now. And so one or two minutes before the news comes out, you should set two um, stop orders. So a buy stop order somewhere over here above the current price and a sell stop order below the current price. And so what that will do is as soon as the news comes out, currency pair will jump either up or down. And uh, as you saw in the previous tutorial, it just goes that way without uh, moving backwards. So it just, uh, there's... Um, um, no retracements in that movement just keeps going for that one minute or two minutes in that one direction. So that means that your buy stop order or sell stop order will be triggered and the currency will just go plowing straight through it and keep going uh, in that same direction. And that way it will actually reach your take profit, which should be... Um, maybe 10, 20, 30, or 40, or whatever number of pips that you think the currency pair will travel in that movement. And so that, in essence, is uh, a very uh, reliable way, uh, or quite a reliable way to trade currency pairs, because uh, you will pick up the movement whichever way it goes, so you're just waiting for an impulse, up or down, doesn't matter, and um, you're setting a take profit, like a conservative 50 pip take profit, and you're very likely to get it so um, that's in theory but in practice there is a one major drawback when news like this happens and the markets are going crazy uh, most brokers will have trouble uh, actually um, executing your order so even though the price has reached the uh, sell stop or buy stop well in this case it would have been the sell stop over here so because um, the markets are going crazy and the price has changed so quickly your broker might not even execute it and even though the price has reached the sell stop and even passed the sell stop your sell stop might not even uh, be opened uh, yet and more so uh, when the price reaches your take profit the order might have problems closing and um, so in order to implement these strategies you do have to uh, find a reliable broker that can um, guarantee you execution of your orders and uh, their respective uh, stop losses or take profits. So basically that means that the choice of broker is a very important part of your trading, especially if you're planning on trading fundamental signals. Be careful of that. 
choose uh, your broker wisely. Um, what I can do is uh, recommend my review of brokers, which is at www.forexboat.com slash brokers. Um, those are the brokers that I use predominantly for algorithmic trading, but they have proved to be reliable um, through my experience. And maybe that's a good point for you to start investigating what is a good broker for your trading. But otherwise, I wish you good luck with uh, your trading if you are trading fundamental trading. Um, it can be very profitable and hopefully you'll be able to master it. I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial and until then, happy trading.